Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Mo Diggity, and let's go ahead and get into the article, shall we? Today, something crazy happened on Twitter. Twitter nuked Zero Hedge from out of friggin' orbit because they apparently uh, doxed a scientist in China that was related somehow to the coronavirus outbreak. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into this article from Zero Hedge. Uh, from uh, Zero Hedge, Bloomberg right here, and uh, BuzzFeed. And I know what you're thinking, BuzzFeed. <gasps> you know, and I'm sorry, but in the, in the interest of fairness, I'm trying to go ahead and give a somewhat impartial view, uh, or at least my opinion will try uh, to remain as impartial as possible until the end of the video. But we're going to go ahead and read through some of these articles here and try to ascertain uh, what exactly happened in this situation. Zero Hedge suspended on Twitter. This is written by Tyler Durton on ZeroHedge.com. First it was Facebook, then all of New Zealand, and now Twitter has decided to suspend Zero Hedge, just as in the prior bans, which were eventually overturned. So in this case, it is unclear what prompted Twitter's abrupt censorship. The only notification we received from Twitter was the following. And this is a screenshot right here of the uh, of the uh, of the violation of the rules against abuse and harassment, which I, I think is a little bit. Well, maybe maybe you could have gave them a twelve hour ban, but I, I digress. It's not really right now. Is not the time to give you my opinion. That's not the end of the video. It is news to us that this website has ever quote unquote engaged in the targeted harassment of someone. What appears to have had happened. What appears to have happened is that Twitter received a complaint from the website best known for publishing the discredited Steele dossier where, when no other media outlet would touch it and making cat slideshows, of course, BuzzFeed, in which someone called Ryan Broderick writes that Zero Hedge has, quote-unquote, has released the personal information of a scientist from Wuhan, China, falsely accusing them of creating the coronavirus as a bioweapon in a plot, it said, is the real-life version of the video game Resident Evil. And, and this is the tweet from Ryan Broderick right here. At the end of an article that includes a scientist's name, photo, email, and a phone number, Zero Hedge told their readers that they should, quote-unquote, should probably pay the Chinese scientists a visit. And it has all this stuff, the, the link to the BuzzFeed article here. I've reached out to Twitter to, for, for clarity on this, but it looks like Zero Hedge may have been suspended following my piece about them doxing a Chinese scientist and accusing them of weapon, weaponizing the coronavirus. Uh, BuzzFeed.com uh, article, Rihanna, blah, 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 blah. A few points. The article referenced to by BuzzFeed is the man behind the global coronavirus pandemic is, as the title implies, a question and one which, considering the huge significance in life or death import of the corona pandemic, has to be answered, especially since even the establishment's for foreign policy magazine writes Bat Soup, which is widely being cited and circulated as, by the mainstream press as the cause for the coronavirus, the coronavirus breakout, the widely read website health.com also chimes in, no coronavirus was not caused by quote-unquote bat soup. Meanwhile, Business Insider writes, experts think the Wuhan coronavirus jumped from bats to snakes to people. Bats have been the source of at least four pandemics. But that's also been discredited. So, you know, I don't think there's any basis for animal-to-human transmission, at least as far as the coronavirus has been concerned. I, this has been uncovered in the last week, so you know if you want to go ahead and just Google human, uh, human to person transmission of the coronavirus, and you'll find that a lot of that has been discredited as uh, not as it's as seemingly not the the origin of transmission. But anyway, I don't personally know where it came from. I don't know if anyone else does, but apparently it's not from animal to human. Anyway, so considering that Peng Zhou Zhao currently works at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, is the leader of the bat virus infection and immunization group at the Institute. 
The question clearly is a reasonable one and, in the normal world, would demand an answer from the establishment media, assuming it wasn't afraid of risking lucrative Chinese funding instead of leaving it to quote-unquote fringe websites. The, the impetus to ask the question if the disease originated at the Wuhan Institute of Virology is especially relevant in the light of social media reports such as the one which claims to have quote-unquote evidence here that the outbreak originated from the Wuhan P4 Research Institute we need to find a truly patriotic journalist to publish it to the public. You can personally trust me to provide a complete chain of evidence. Thank you. So we did have the right to ask the question if there is an alternative version for the emergence of the coronavirus pandemic, especially with hundreds if not thousands of live at, at lives at stake? Absolutely. Meanwhile, those who wonder if Dr. Zhao had any link to the possible emergence of the coronavirus Following years of experimenting with bats, we urge you all to read our full article instead of relying on the hearsay of ideologically biased journalists. And we'll go ahead and just uh, stop right there because the article does go on for a little while longer. And quite frankly, I don't. we have two more articles to go through. So this is from Bloomberg, and this is the uh, this is their take on the on the. Uh, the ban of Zero Hedge off of Twitter. Let's go ahead and read it. This is in the market section. Zero Hedge permanently suspended from Twitter for quote-unquote harassment by Siraj Datu on January 31st, 2020. The libertarian financial website Zero Hedge was permanently suspended from Twitter on Friday after it published an article questioning the involvement of a Chinese scientist in the outbreak of the Devi deadly novel coronavirus. On its website, Zero Hedge's pseudo, pseudo, non, pseudo anonymous pseudo anonymous pseudo anonymous author Tyler Durton in quotation marks said he received a notification from Twitter that he had violated quote unquote our rules against abuse and harassment. And once again, it shows the screenshot that Zero Hedge apparently got from Twitter.com. Earlier on Friday, BuzzFeed reported that the Zero Hedge website shared the name and personal information of a scientist who it said may have knowledge about the source of the virus, whose details then spread across the Internet. And this is the apparent doxing that Zero Hedge allegedly did of the scientist. And we'll probably go ahead and check that out here in a moment. Well, we'll, we'll not the information, because I'm not trying to get in no trouble. <laughs> but anyway, in a piece called, Is This the Man Behind the Global Coronavirus Pandemic? Durden included, a, in, in a piece called, Is This the Man Behind the Global Coronavirus Pandemic? Durden included a picture of a scientist at, Wu, at Wuhan's Institute of Virology and suggested users could pay him, quote-unquote, a visit to find out more about what caused the outbreak. See, that was a bad idea right there because that could be construed as harassment or in trying to incite violence against the person. So that's probably the big strike right there. And publishing the, the, uh, uh, the, the name, the full name and phone number and all that stuff, that was probably a really dumb idea too. They shouldn't have done that. Unmasking the men behind Zero Hedge, Wall Street's renegade blog. We will not be re reading that. Something tells us if anyone wants to find out what really caused the coronavirus pandemic that has infected thousands of people in China and around the globe, they should probably contact him, the report said. Since being founded in the depths of the financial crisis, Zero Hedge has built a dedicated following by serving up a mix of hardcore financial analysis and populist political commentary. A Twitter spokesperson said in an email to Bloomberg that the at Zero Hedge account, which has more than 670,000 followers, was permanently suspended for violating our platform manipulation policy, which is a bunch of nonsense com considering the fact that you, could, uh, you already had them at harassment and intimidation and all that stuff. You don't have to have some bull crap like platform manipulation or violating platform manipulation policy. You know, it, it sound, that, that makes everything sound suspicious as hell. So just 
you know, I, I would I would probably walk that comment back if I were you, Twitter.com, because you already have them uh, naturally at that part. You don't have to add stuff. That just makes you look suspicious, looks like you're up to something. I'm just saying, I wear a tinfoil hat all the time. Maybe you shouldn't exacerbate the situation. In an email to Bloomberg from the author known as Durden, he said that he believes the suspension was unjustified and likely motivated by reasons other than the stated ones. Well, the platform manipulation thing does not help out their case and sort of helps out his, uh, his little assertion there. We are confident that we did not violate any of the stated Twitter terms, which neither incited harassment nor did we quote-unquote dox the public official whose contact information is, at, as of this moment, listed on the Wuhan Institute, Institute's website, he wrote in the email. In 2016, Bloomberg revealed the identities of Zero Hedge's three main writers. They are Colin Lowkey, who quit the blog, Tim Backshell, a credit derivatives strategi- strategist, and Daniel uh, Ivan Dzhigzhik, a Bulgarian former, a Bulgarian form, blah, 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 blah. So that's, that's a little bit funny that Bloomberg's complaining about doxing people when they've doxed three people in, immediately right here. Uh, isn't that just the height of hypocrisy? Good job, Bloomberg. Anyway, let's get to the one that none of us are looking forward to. We'll, we'll try to read as much as this because I'm not looking forward to this. So just bear with me here. Uh, this is by BuzzFeed.com. A pro-Trump blog docks a Chinese scientist if falsely accused of creating the coronavirus as a bioweapon. The scientist's name, photo, email, and a telephone number are being spread across American social media. Media. Uh, read, uh, written by Ryan Broderick. All right, I'm I'm trying not to talk shit. It's just the website. Uh, it's just BuzzFeed rubs me the wrong way. A popular pro-Trump website has released the personal information of a scientist from Wuhan, China, falsely accusing them of creating the coronavirus as a bioweapon in a plot it says is the real-life version of the video game Resident Evil. On Wednesday, far-right news site Zero Hedge claimed without evidence that a scientist at the Wuhan Institute of Virology created the strain of the virus that has led to the World Health Organization to declare a global health emergency. The outbreak has grown to more than 9,776 cases, with 118 outside of China. The coronavirus has killed 213 people, all in China. Includes, quote unquote, if anyone wants to find out what really caused the corona pandemic that has affected, well, all right, so basically rehashing the same stuff in, in the Bloomberg article, which I, I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious of, which is a little weird. You know, like half their article is like half the uh, BuzzFeed's article right here, you know, like it's almost like this close from plagiarism. Well, then again, it'll never be considered plagiarism because these two are essentially comrades in arms. Like, you could tell that BuzzFeed doesn't like uh, Zero Hedge immediately coming out the gate uh, by labeling them as far right, using buzzwords like far right, Trump supporter, etc., 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 and all that stuff. BuzzFeed has reached out to the scientist who is declining, who it is declining to name. But if Zero Hedge is already correct, then their information is already public because he's a part of the uh, the, Wuhan, the Wuhan's Virology Institute, or Institute of Virology, whatever. You know what the hell I mean. But anyway, yada, 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 yada. Zero Hedge's Twitter account, Twitter account it was suspended Friday following the publication of the scientist's name. The account was permanently suspended for violating RBC platform manipulation again. Rumors and lies about the Wuhan Institute of Virology dovetail with the popular meme about how the Institute's logo is similar to that of the Umbrella Corporation. It is. It really, really, actually, truly is. It's a derivative of the Umbrella Corp logo. It's just different colors. And some people are saying that uh, a corona is an anagram 
for a raccoon, go ahead, look it up. It's really funny. It'll like break your, it'll probably break your brain a little bit. So anyway, yada yada yada. Zero Hedge, which describes itself as a financial blog, has more than fifty thousand followers on Facebook and more than six hundred seventy thousand followers on Twitter, and is ran by Davil Ivan Dzhizhevich, a Bulgarian-born. You, you see, this is the same weird stuff. Uh, this is the same stuff that they written on, on Bloomberg, or, or no, this is Zero Hedge in Bloomberg right here. Like you guys are just sort of copying and pasting y'all's information. And you're just using it uh, uh, to prop up y'all's articles, you know? That's that's a little bit lazy. If even, I would say, even like journalistically dishonest, I think. Or just maybe maybe lazy is the, the perfect uh, stretch. Maybe a dishonest might be, you might have to think about. Maybe perhaps that's y'all or your own opinion. So anyway. Okay, so basically... You're a piece of shit. You're a racist. No Trump. No KKK. No fascist USA. That that's the rest of BuzzFeed's stupid ass article. Let me go ahead and just give you my opinion on that. On this, uh, first off, I think they re- Twitter needs to drop the allegation of platform manipulation because there doesn't seem to be any evidence of that whatsoever. You have them cold though, right on the uh, w- with the doxing of the 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 person's name though if if what they say is correct you know they, then it's public knowledge then you, you would have to walk back that little doxing allegation too but for right now until we can prove otherwise it is a legitimate according to Webster's dictionary doxing offense and the uh the quote unquote pay him a visit comments doesn't help zero hedges case either and because of that, this is a pretty, unfortunately, as much as a, as much as a fan, kind of, of Zero Hedge, as I am, this seems to be a clear-cut case of rule violation, and the people, or, or the person running Zero Hedge's Twitter account should have freaking knew, knew better than to say something like that, because in this day and age, a lot of things can be misconstrued or construed as a threat and telling someone to uh, telling people to quote pay someone a visit that does sound very uh, uh threatening so you shouldn't have done that D- despite the uh the sort of little snide articles that were written kind of mostly by freaking buzzfeed i, I kind of lost a little bit of respect for bloomberg went with this little blurb right here in 2016 they revealed the identities of the three main writers right here. And then Bloomberg has the audacity to write an article complaining about doxing when they dox three of the guys right there. So that's pretty messed up. And I don't think I'll be using Bloomberg as a source ever again. I'm done with them. Because I don't support doxing at all. You know, if you just don't like something, you just go and watch something else. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe yada 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 you know you know the drill right here but i have 163 uh, uh, subscribers right now i would like to get that to a thousand before like you know summer so go ahead and hit that sub button thanks for coming out i really appreciate it until then peace out